Hi everyone, it's FCA. I'm trying to keep my voice down because my parents are sleeping. This is the last time I'm making this video, so if this one doesn't work out, then just... Anyway, I'm not naked. I have a nightgown on. It doesn't... The sleeves are a little weird, so I keep going like this. I'm going to be doing the whole video. And this uploads quickly. I think I fixed the quality, and I didn't feel like setting up in the bathroom. So, my humans, we need to talk. My humans are close and special friends to me. So if you are a person who I particularly care about, you're my human, not just a human. So there's a human, and then there's my human. It's very endearing to be my human. And it takes a lot to get to that level. But my humans, we need to talk. Yeah, you, me, now. And I feel like it's better to talk through a camera rather than to your actual face because we don't want to end up slapping each other. Because something has been happening that's an, in an intense irritation to me and it makes me want to smack you. And then you want to smack me because of how you assume I am. So how is this? When I am with my humans, I have been called rude, offensive, and judgmental. Now, have I insulted somebody's religion, sexual orientation, ethnic background, or religious choices? If I said religion, I'm not sure. Or career choices? No. I haven't done any of that. What I have done is been an idiot because, apparently, when I say certain jokes calling people's behaviors out or this is this is what has been doing it the most when I am asked the wrong question to get your desired resolved answer so what is happening to me is I have a very high vocabulary I work on my vocabulary I love to read in, I love to read the dictionary for fun I know that's kind of weird but I like words. The dictionary is this big. There's so many words in the English language. Why do we only use four pages? And so I know a lot of words. I know a lot of adjectives and adverbs and nouns. And I know different nouns that represent the same thing. And different adjectives to represent the same thing. Things are nouns, not adverbs. But you know what I mean. The words, the words, the words. Symbols. Anywho. So what has been happening is I am asked the wrong question. You, you, ask me the wrong question. And this is what I've been asked the most. I get asked, <coughs> what do you think of this? And me, like a stupid person with a high vocabulary, I presume that you want me to tell you my thought and opinion on whatever it is. So if you show me a picture or you put on something or you send me a, a phrase and you want me to examine it and then give an opinion on it, but you are not seeking my actual opinion, don't ask for it. I don't think that's rude or offensive or judgmental. If you put on a dress and it doesn't look good on you, do you really want me to say, it looks great, get it? <laughs> I don't want to lie to you. I'm going to tell you my honest opinion. That dress couldn't make anybody look good. Put something else on, please. I think I'm saving you from future, you know, meme probabilities. I think I'm saving you from future Facebook picture fails. I think I'm saving you from selfie um, Armageddon, you know? But to my friends, I'm just rude. Or people say, they say to me, what do you think of insert picture phrase here? If you are seeking confirmation, affirmation, or validation, or some other shun word, you need to phrase your questions so that you get those things from me. 
I'm willing to give them. It's just that if you give me an open door of words to choose from, such as, what do you think of blank, that just opens all of these word opportunities for me. And I'm going to pick them into the way that fits my brain's appeasement and then give them to you. I don't think I'm being rude, but apparently I am. And sometimes I don't use words. I, I admit that sometimes my face is like... And I let my face do the talking. And sometimes even that's rude. But I, I think that I'm just being honest. Uh, an example <laughs> is uh, one of my friends sent me a message and it said, what do you think of, what does this sound like to you? I'm crashing at a friend's house. Or I'm staying over, I'm staying the night at a friend's house. That's what it was. I'm staying the night at a friend's house. And I said, it sounds like someone is going to be spending the night in someone else's abode other than their own. And the person jumped on that. I was like, no, this is what it sounds like. This is what it is. I was like, it, I'm spending the night at a friend's house can't possibly mean just that. It can't possibly be I'm spending the night at a friend's house. That's impossible? Okay. They were like, it sounds like blah, 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 blah to me. And I was like, oh, all right, if you... And, and that's another example. You just you cannot ask me the wrong thing. Right, Eo? You have to ask me the right question. So when you want the validation, confirmation, affirmation thing, you need to phrase it like that. So instead of showing me a picture and saying, what do you think of this? What you need to say is, I like this. Will you tell me you like it too? Because then, yes, I, I will and have the ability to do that. And if that's what you're seeking from me, I will happily fill that for you. So if you have that need, I will happily fill that need. So here's your need. It's empty, and I will put that in there. Okay. I will say, I like it too. And then if you ever do that, you know, if you, if, but then I learn that if you ever do that, the person's like, you're not being honest with me. Have you ever gotten that where, because you said, oh, that looks bad on you, or oh, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And, you know, trying to save them from picture arm again later, they just get offended. And so when you finally do go, I like it, you don't hate it, you don't love it, you just, it's okay, I'm not good. No. Maybe not something for me, but you want it. And I always try and sprinkle goodness onto this, onto my opinion. You know, I always say, you know, it's your body. If you want to put that on yourself, I will not stop you. I would not put it on myself, but that's just my thing. And then, and then they always, they always kind of get this dis. They want to be aloof from me, and I'm like, why? So, I'm glad we had this talk. So, from now on, you need to phrase your questions to get the desired answers from my face. Because otherwise, when you leave it open for me to say, what do you think of this? I'm going to aggrandize that. Alright? You're going to get lots of word opulence. Have a good night. How do I stop this thing? There it is. Night-night.